Hi, this is my old WA5 UT Kang. And I'm getting ready to mount a uh, NMO dual band antenna on a uh, Ford F-150 extended cab pickup. And uh, here's what I'll be uh, using. Uh, one, we got our um, drill. And uh, then uh, this is the hole saw. The NMO mount requires a uh, three-quarter inch hole. So I've got a three-quarter inch hole saw that we'll be using. And this is the NMO cable connector. And then the uh, PL259 um, coax cable connector that'll be used. And we'll get started with the uh, installation here in just a bit. And here's the pickup that we will be putting the antenna on. You can see it's an extended cab Ford uh, pickup. Okay, my brother Tim's going to be helping out with this. First thing we're going to do is take the uh, cargo light um, panel out and we'll be putting the antenna right up uh, in front of the uh, cargo light assembly. Okay, we've removed the uh, cargo light assembly and uh, so we have a little bit of clearance underneath. We've made uh, some marks on here where we're going to put them out and we'll come up you know, just about three quarters to an inch forward of where um, the uh, cargo light assembly ends and we'll show this on the other side of the hole. Okay, we now have the drill positioned, getting ready to go. Go yeah, for it. Looks centered enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have our, our hole that's been drilled. And um, one thing that I do when uh, whenever I've drilled the hole like this is I'll put my screwdriver in here and I'll run it around like so. And that's uh, to remove any any burrs that might be there on the edge. And uh, let's see if I can show what. It... I can't quite see the hole from here. I just can't get the camera position right. Okay, now we're feeding the coax through the hole up top. Okay, the NMO has been positioned in. Now we're doing our tightening of the nut. And when you bring it around to where it squeaks, then you know that it's tight. Position the antenna on the mount. This little dual band 2 meter 440 antenna. Now to run the coax. And what we will be doing to run the coax is we will come in, we will run through this slot here, and we'll come out at the top of the top of the headliner. And as my brother is helping me with pulling this cable, okay, we're as you can see we're pulling the cable in. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. We've got the coax inside the cab. What we've done is we've run alongside uh, the edge of the headliner. And then we're going around the trim up here at the top. And then for going down the side, I'll show you that in just a sec. Okay, what we've done it here. Just yep, I just pulled up. What we've done here is we've removed the trim, or actually just moved it out of its resting place. And the coax will just slide right down in this track. And we'll, we'll lay down inside uh, of here. Okay, the coax cable has been run. It's been trimmed to size. Connector's been put on. And that's how it, how it looks sitting on the back of the radio. For the uh, top of the truck. We've got the cargo light assembly back in and the antenna mounted. And you can see how we came out size-wise, fitting-wise. Everything worked, uh, worked just fine. I've already, already checked the antenna on the analyzer and uh, Check very good on both VHF and uh, 440. So, hope this info has been of some help to you on how to mount a uh, NMO antenna onto a uh, Ford truck. Of course, this could be used. Uh, this info could be used on any installation, as far as that goes, any vehicle. And just happen to have this particular truck to do it on. Thanks for watching. 73 is my LWA5 UTK.